This video is made possible by my patrons on Patreon. Hello everyone, my name is Ziamaro and welcome back to the channel. So here's something that hasn't really been talked about much, the Book of Lore. And I guess I understand why. I mean, Battle Right is an arena game, not a storytelling game. So it stands to reason that the sort of people who play Battle Right might not be interested in the backstory of the characters. I mean, from a competitive standpoint, who cares? But at the same time, I've really been enjoying reading them. Last week, we had a first look at the new lore and the world map. We've seen the world map before, but now we have some points of interest marked with a little information about the region. It also tells you which champions come from where. So for the next six months by the looks of things, we'll be getting a new piece of lore each week. So far it's looking like we're getting the backstory on a different champion each week. So 27 champions, 27 weeks. Well, 28 soon actually, but we'll get to that in a minute. The Rukan one was kinda cool because it was the first one, but actually I had a read through Rygon's one yesterday when it went out and it was even better. I've seen some criticism of the writing style, but meh. I'm less bothered by the way it's written because the way things are getting pieced together seems really cool. I'd like to avoid spoilers in this video, but it's gonna be impossible in a moment. So if you wanna read it first, pause the video, read it and then come back. Okay, so. First off, Rygon refers to Shifu as Master Shifu, which is interesting. It also gives an explanation for why some of their outfits look similar sometimes. It also sounds like Rygon's father banished him after he was corrupted by Pestilus. So I'm not going to go through the whole story because, well, either you've already read it or you don't care and you want me to get to the damn point. So Rygon is on the run from one of Pestilus's men, Angaroth. He gets mentioned a few times and then suddenly this picture shows up. The second I saw it, I was like, hmm, this looks awfully familiar. Could Angaroth be the new champion? Well, as I said, spoilers, he's possibly not the new champion because, well, he kind of gets his head chopped off by Rygon. But the green eyes, the beetle horned helmet, that's definitely our new champion. However, in the teaser picture in the roadmap, the new champion has a green orb, not a sword like Angaroth has. So the question is, does Angaroth get resurrected and maybe has a sword and an orb? Is the new champion one of Angaroth's men? Or maybe does someone pick up Angaroth's helmet and become cursed? This isn't the first time we've had a hint at a new champion through the lore. Back in March, we got a hint at another champion. A character called Abess Corinthia showed up as one of the sponsors and she had a striking resemblance to the later to be released Ulrich. Just like that, I think Angaroth is a hint at the new champion. In the story, Angaroth is referred to as the Reaver, which is kind of interesting because in Bloodline Champions, that was the name of Rygon. But for that same reason, it doesn't really help us predict what abilities the new champion might have. So, what do you guys think? Is Angaroth the new champion? Or will it be one of his men? Or maybe you think I'm totally wrong and the new champion has nothing to do with Angaroth. But no matter what the case, I'd like to hear your crazy theories. Oh, and before I go, quick easter egg for you. Go to the map on the Book of Lore site and type in Pearl into your keyboard. Just, just do it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please feel free to subscribe for more gaming guides, news and discussion. And don't forget to check out the links below to Patreon, Discord and Twitch. Until next time, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.